This lesson deals with Supplemental Problem 3.2. You can find this problem in the course ebook in the Chapter 3 Supplemental Problem starting on page 2. Given the circuit, could you find the node voltages V1, V2, V3, and V4 using the node voltage method, where here's node voltage 1, here's node 2, node 3, and node 4 with respect to a ground? Then could you use these results to find the power dissipated in these four resistors? In Electronotes, we had a five-step algorithm for finding node voltages. Steps one and two are to pick a ground and then to label the node voltages. And that's already been done for us. Steps three and four is to apply Kirchhoff's current law and then to solve for the node voltages. But in this problem, we already know some of the node voltages. In other words, between node one and ground, there's a 10 volt source. So V1 is equal to 10. Between node three and ground, there's a six volt source that's equal to six volts. Now to solve for Kirchhoff's current law, I need to assign currents in each of the elements. So let me just do that arbitrarily. And then once we pick it, we're just going to stick with it. I'll call this current I1, I2, I3, and I4. Let's do Kirchhoff's current law at node 2. The current that enters is I1 plus 5, and what's leaving is I2. What's I1 equal to? Well, it's equal to this node voltage minus this node voltage, which would be 10 minus V2 divided by 1 ohm. And of course, we have the 5 amps also entering. And then leaving, we have the current in this element, which is going to be node voltage 2 minus node voltage 3, but node voltage 3 is equal to 6 volts, so V2 minus 6 divided by 2 ohms. I have 10 minus V2 plus 5, a half times V2, and then minus 3. Let's bring this on the other side of the equation as a plus. I have plus 3 plus 5 plus 10, or 18. Put this on the other side of the equation, so I get 1 plus a half, or 1 and a half times V2. V2 is equal to 12 volts. Next, let's sum the currents at node voltage 4. And what I'm doing here is summing the currents at nodes that don't have a voltage source hooked up to it because I don't know the current in a voltage source. I can solve for it, but it's not following any kind of a Ohm's law kind of relationship. But we know two of the node voltages, and so I just need two more equations. So I had one from node two, and I'll do the other one from node four. I3 is entering, I4 is leaving, and one amp is leaving. I3 is equal to I4 plus one. What's I3? It's gonna be this node voltage minus this node voltage divided by three. So six volts minus V4 divided by three. And then the current I4 is going to be this node voltage minus this node voltage, so V4 minus V1, but V1 is equal to 10, divided by 4 ohms. I have 2, and I have a third times V4, a quarter times V4. Then I have minus 10 over 4, which is 2 and a half, but negative, and I have plus 1. Bring the center side of the equation. I get a plus 2 and a half, I get 4 and a half, and then I get a minus 1, so 3 and a half. Put this on the other side of the equation. I'm going to add 0.33 to 0.25, and I get 0.5833 times V4. And then it's dividing through, I get that V4 is equal to 6 volts. On the node voltages, let's solve for the current in the resistors, and then we can find the power dissipated by taking I squared times R. Now we find the currents I1, I2, and I3, and I4 on the previous page. We found that I1 was equal to V1 minus V2 over 1, and that was 10. And then we found that V2 was equal to 12, divided by 1 is a minus 2 amps. We found that I2 was V2 minus V3 over 2. V2 is equal to 12. V3 is equal to 6. We're dividing that by 2, we get 3 amps. I3 we found to be V3 minus V4 over 3. But V3 was 6, and so is V4. You get 0 amps. And that's possible. We'll have nothing in a particular element. And lastly, I4 we found to be V4 minus V1 over 4, which is 6 minus 10 over 4, minus 1 amp. I can take I squared times R. Minus 2 squared times 1 is 4 watts. For the 2 ohm resistor, we had 3 amps. So 3 squared times 2 is 18 watts. For resistor 3, we had 0 current. So 0 squared times 3 is 0 watts. And then lastly, for the form resistor, we found it was minus 1 amps, minus 1 squared times 4 is 4 watts. We could have also found this by taking V squared over R, or V times I. And this is supplemental problem 3.2.